pitch and volume are important in making music, but they can also be used in some unexpected ways. We're inspired initially by science fiction and some of the amazing ideas like tractor beams where objects can be grabbed and pulled towards usually spaceships. And being researchers in, in sound and sound waves, we thought, well, sound waves can apply forces. Can we try and make those science fiction ideas a reality? After plenty of experimentation, Bruce and his team developed a device which uses sound to levitate objects. At the heart of it are these things here, which are little loudspeakers. They're all outputting sound waves into this central region. They're all controlled by the computer over here, and we control the loudness of each of them, the pitch, and also the timing. And all those uh, three things together enable us to control the sound field to levitate objects. Let's switch it on, Azir. OK, so we've switched it on, so the sound is coming out of the, the speakers. Small particle here, we're going to bring it into the field, and so you can see it, it really is levitated there, and it's the sound waves that are keeping it there. It's a special sort of sound, a very high-pitched sound called ultrasound, and it's a type of sound that bats can hear, but we can't. And actually, that's a really good thing, because the sound uh, volume is really, really high. So if we could hear this, it'd be quite an unpleasant experiment. Loudness is important here, because the louder the sound, the greater the force. And so we're trying to get it loud enough that the force overcomes gravity. And you can see a picture of that on the screen here, where there are these two really loud regions. They're the white-yellow regions, and they're like two fingers of loudness. And we, the particle sits in the quiet region between those two fingers. And this technology isn't confined to the laboratory. Bruce has made a portable version, which could have important uses. I think medical applications are where the real future of this technology is. We're doing this in air here, but the same principles would apply uh, within, within your body, and you could grab and move drug release capsules and release them at exactly the right place, exactly the right moment. Maybe even small surgical procedures could be performed.